Hey, I went to my local garden center the other day and I got a few pretty nice plants that I'm going to show you uh, in today's video. And I already planted them up, so no potting up plants today. Just talking a little bit about the plants themselves and show you how beautiful they're going to be. So let's start and I will show you the plants. Let's begin with this Ceanothus, Emily Brown. I was really intrigued by this plant, not necessarily because of the blooms. I mean, they are gorgeous as well. Um, blue with uh, yellow centers. But what I'm mostly really curious about are these leaves and the leaf structure. Aren't they cute? I mean, they have these spikes on the side, but a really beautiful glossy green. And in my climate, they are winter hardy. So yeah, pretty excited to have this structure on my balcony. Let's look at some of the details of the Ceanothus and the brown. So they prefer yeah, a sunny area on your balcony or in your garden. They are evergreen. They get up to a meter tall and one meter wide. They don't need that much water. So that's uh, quite good because I'm yeah, looking for more drought tolerant plants. And you usually cut them in spring. They tend to bloom from May to July. And yeah, as I mentioned, this is gonna be the flower of the Ceanothus. And while we are at it, can we take a look at this gorgeous laurel petalum? I mean, that's not a plant that I got uh, the last time I went to the garden center, but I couldn't help myself, but uh, get this plant because of these pink blooms really fluffy and and again mostly because of the color of the leaves it's such a great purple accent plant and i think it goes perfectly with the lilac shelf in the background while we're at it and talking about the shelf look at this cypress or fall cypress that I got from the garden center. It's probably uh, my favorite plant that I got this time around. It's so fluffy and cute. And I mean, you have the darker green, uh, older growth, and then the new green has this uh, lighter green with a slight yellow tone to it. And yeah, I planted it in my square container. So this is a cypress, a fall cypress, Nana gracilis. It prefers sun to part shade. Yeah, you usually don't prune it. And I think it's a dwarf uh, variety. So yeah, it grows only up to 40 centimeters tall. So not very tall but i think that's perfect for this spot right here i also got two strawberry plants at the garden center it's always nice to have uh, vegetables or fruit on your balcony and oh look there's already a bloom on the strawberry plant Ooh, and look at these gorgeous leaves of the heuchera. I mean, you know that heucheras are among my favorite plants out there. And yeah, when you see these leaves, oh, like so much bold color on one leaf. And you have purple, silver, green, different shades of green in one leaf. Let's move to the other side of the balcony. Maybe a few updates here and there. The person that used to live in this apartment uh, planted some tulips, some pretty, yeah, and they seem to be doing quite well. So I'm 
not really sure what color this is going to be. Uh, pretty excited to find out uh, about this. Then the chess plants that I planted, I think they already bloomed mostly, but yeah, still a little bit of interest and oh, yeah, you can really see the chess pattern of the blooms. Also the hellebores uh, did an amazing job this spring. Beautiful white blooms, some are more green, green petals. Also the flowering currants started to be in bloom. Let's look at it a little bit closer. Beautiful, soft, delicate pink blooms. Yeah, and stunning with the darker pink blooms of the Levisia cotyledon in the background. The final plant that I got is this olive tree next to the purple heuchera. I mean, that's a pretty common standard plant to have, but yeah, let's look at it. Olea europea, full sun to um, part shade. They're not winter hardy, so up to zero degrees Celsius, but otherwise they, are, they don't need tons of water. That's what I'm, as I mentioned, looking for in my plants on my balcony because it's south facing. And yeah, I'm hoping that it will grow a little bit taller in the next couple of months. I hope you enjoyed this video of me just buying a few plants and showing them on my balcony. It's slowly but surely filling up on my balcony. And yeah, I'm happy to bring you along on the process. Bye bye.